Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic and thanks to one of my viewers so very much for giving me the input that I needed in order to be able to place this Santa's headlamp on my head so that I could find these lost runaway gingerbread man. I didn't realize that you had to put them on a specific, well actually just a cap. The thing is, I didn't have one. I had to go out and actually get an outfit to be able to get one. But it's an outfit that I always had wanted to purchase anyway. It can carry a, you know up to five rods, and it's kind of cool looking. So I think later, you know, it's basically the sports fisherman uh, look there. But I went ahead and put the hat on, and we're gonna see if we can finally now play Santa's. Yes, I can. There we go. So collect gingerbread men at least at one pond. So the mission is that. So we can go to Lone Star, Emerald, Everglades, Blue Crab Island, Leslie Vila, Tiber, Sandra Baggersy, or these two, which I cannot get to. Now, what I'm going to probably do is go to Lone Star, which is what I tried in the first place. I am still grinding the uh, dunce crappie that's going to take a while but i've gotten quite far anyway we're going to head over here jump at lone star lake it's just no travel costs and i think we also have to do this at night so i'm going to jump in here the main hub. If there's too many people here, it's going to be a little harder to do because they're going to—they might try to talk, and I don't feel like I want to be rude. And so I may have to jump back out. Mm, there might be quite a few people here, but they are fishing for the dunce crappie as well. It looks like. Let me go ahead and go to a private room just to make sure that I'm not disturbing them. Yeah, because that's... You got to keep your focus when you're fishing for those guys. And you're running back and forth to that darn thing. Alright, so we are going to have to advance time. But let's first go over... Oh, I need to check to see if I've got any gifts. I think it's been long enough, yes. Or Mega Cookie Ground Bait. That I can use. I think there's another place I can check too, but uh, let's go ahead and check it. Before we go after the gingerbread men, let's check this. There's a little stocking over here, and there might be some goodies in there too. Hopefully, some tokens. That's what I'm. Oh, bonellos, whatever that is. That can be used to fish for the dunce crappie. Crappie? Crappie? Yeah, I did do some checking. Crappie and crappie, it really just depends on what part of the states you're from, how it's pronounced. Either one is correct. Around here, we call them crappie. Alright, so we oh yeah, it's way in the morning, so let's go ahead and advance this to the start of night. And our lamp is working. Very nice. Start take the bag. Do we have a limit? Oh, yes we do. Oh gosh, we gotta find seven of them. Here's one. And there's one over here. Run, 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 run. Oh, no, it doesn't look like we have a time limit. Let's see, let's go this way. I think I see one over there too. There's none, one there. Two of seven, so I don't know. Let's see. Oh, we gotta equip the glasses for that. And we still gotta get the t 
tarpon to make that happen. There we go. There's another gingerbread man. There's none there. Yeah, I'm going to have to put in the comments b below the name of the viewer that told me this, but I am so thankful for that. I've not had a cap, so and I've ha always had one that already had a light on it, so I never really had to have a flashlight involved. <laughs> so that, yep, I knew there'd be one hidden back here, was quite helpful and much appreciated. So we got five of seven. There's one here, and I bet you all kinds of money. That he's going to be always oh, right over here. I kind of thought he'd be over there behind the other stuff. And we got him. Lone Star Gingerbread Tag. All runaways have been returned in, onto the festive table. Your reward awaits the Mega Cookie Ground Bait. Awesome. And that is in our backpack. It looks like we got a bunch of it. New mission. That is the one we're still working on. <laughs> so it's going to force us to do that. But that was good because we managed to get a couple of things accomplished there. We're not just sitting there doing the dunce crappies. You know, we could do them here just as easily. In fact, we might go ahead and do that just to mix things up a little bit. I did find out that they go for these small minas pretty well. So, well, let me get these set up first. That would be kind of be kind of dumb. Yeah, I know we've already seen these guys, but we're going to go ahead and just do a little bit of it just to see how well we're going to be able to pull this off. But I tell you, I wonder. Let me grab this rod again. I'm going to try throwing on a little ground bait. Let's see if that doesn't increase the bite rates a little bit. Let me see here. So we now have that in our backpack. Let's put this in here and see what we can do here. Let's mix it. Alright. See, we'll have that in small minnows both. And I bet you anything, we're going to increase our odds a little bit. This could be helpful. Oh, I forgot to set the clip. That's a little far, but it'll work, I guess. All right, let's turn her on. guys I am back and it we finally 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 completed the dunce crappie mission that took a long time it took many 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 hours of grinding to catch all those guys it seemed to be the red ones were the hardest to get of all I thought the blue ones would be it turned out it was the red but we finally managed to get those. We also managed to get a lot of the Akuras, so the Bandit Akuras. So that's going to help with the next mission. That's 
yet you've got to get a bunch of those as well and we you know we got to find something that they go for that the other two don't that's the only way we're going to get there quick enough but this is the next stage this is the operation santa's glasses and that's where we it's time to catch the unlucky krampus tarpon that's to take the santa's glasses back make sure to pack your santa's milk popper that's what we got we got three of them for the last completing the last mission along with 25,000 gold and um, three bait coins so now we need to go back to the Everglades to find the Krampus. We have to travel with a 13 pound rod and racks real max setup. So nothing bigger than that. Just so happens that with the um, holiday pack, you do get one that has all of those settings. So let me show you here real quick in my inventory. And that is this gear right here. It's the Krampus horn seven foot by three inch, max 23. The Horn Reel 3500, Max 23, and .008 Braid, Max 23. So there it is across the board. And this is the Santa's Popper Santa's Milk, one and one third ounce, floating popper, seven odd hook. So that is what we have to fish with and catch him with. So we now have to go back to the Everglades. And we're going to need to go over here to the Salty Delta. Alright, we are here. This is where he's supposed to be. Now, where he is is your guess as good as mine, but I have caught the tarpon a few places around here. I think one of them was right over here. Oh, that's the decorated red drum. So I have been here before. <laughs> well, we'll try this way, because I think this is where I caught them before. So we need to put that three. I don't want to put the tension up too much. I'm going to cast it out as far as we can go. Usually the big guys are not as tough to catch. Yep, and we got something. Okay, let's up the tension a little bit. We don't want to lose him, but we also don't want him to get away here. Well, I think we got him. Whatever this is, he's big. Yeah, he's supposed to be missing his lower jaw. That's going to be a funny looking fish. That's why he's called the unlucky Krampus Tarpon. Yeah, the big guys are actually really easy to get. Well, for the most part, anyway. He's actually giving me a pretty good fight. We're just going to have to play him quite a bit here. Let's see if we can't. Okay, he's going to pull a little more. Damn. Tough fish. Okay, we're just let's hold it up like this, guys. This is an old technique Delacaba and I have figured out. You hold it up as high as you go, and when he loosens up, that's when you reel in fast. He isn't getting tired yet. Come on, fish. Yeah, we got him down under 100 feet, and then he really took it out. OK, 
Okay, let's let him have his fun. See how we're gaining a little bit at a time. Most of the time you can hold them for a while. And if that drops, really start reeling in. Mm. He's going for one more hurrah here. Okay, he'll probably let us get it to 150 and then start. Well, he might not. There he goes. Now we gotta reel it in fast. He might have been swimming towards us. Okay, he's realized he's caught now. He's gonna take it out as much as he can again. Keep holding him. Game up. You can back. He starts to resist. Let him have it a little bit. Mm. There he goes. He weakened just a little bit there. He's not real happy that I'm taking him this close. Ah, come on, fish. Yeah, they put a limit on the maximum the gear can be because they don't want people just putting like a, a sow monster on here and just taking little effort at all to bring him in. They want him to have a fight. And he's going to do it one more time, looks like. Yeah, we had him in the 20s there for a second. He's going to take it out again. There we go. Okay, I think we... Okay, he's got one last ditch effort here. Thought I had him. There he comes. We got him. Unlucky Krampus Tarpon. <laughs> he's wearing glasses. Check it out. <laughs> that is a funky looking fish. And he's all scarred up. Let's see what he looks like here, guys. That is an ugly fish. I thought he didn't have a lower jaw. He has a lower jaw. <laughs> see if we can get a little more light here so we can get a better picture. There we go. That is one ugly fish.
I tell you, it took a lot to get him. A lot to get him. All right, there he is. He weighs 68.794 pounds. It's 3,721 cash. 57.893 inches. Quite a bit of XP. 1547 XP gain. I'm getting pretty close to leveling here. 25,000 more cash. Three gold. Uh, fishy ornament. And polar lights glasses. Hooray, Santa will be glad to have his glasses back. All right. This item is equipped. And this item, the fishy ornament, is in the backpack. Ah, oh, boy. Now here we go again. Track down the Krampus Pariah. You can locate, locate the crumbling, crumbling Krampus Pariah by questioning her bandit Eriku minions. <laughs> Often seen in Maku Maku, Marone, Blue Crab Island, Everglades, and other locations. Keep catching them until you find out where their boss is. To attract these fish, start Santa's jukeboxes, or feed them with Mega Cookie Ground Bait, casting it with your hand. Bandit Ericus are especially fond of Buñuelos, and won't say no to some gingerbread, I think is what it's supposed to say. And it looks like we get a Waggler Christmas Treats, Candy Cane... In a Maku Maku Lake license for a day. I've not been there. That's going to be kind of interesting if I can get to that point. So, this is where we stand right now. We've got 42 of the red bandits. We need 157 of them. 53 of the blue and 85 of the green. And that is actually our biggest advantage right there of getting there so we need to get the Krampus then we have to get his beard from the Krampus pariah then we decorate a Christmas tree and then we might be able to do this we might be able to get See, take some snow from the Snow Palm Rocky Lake. Well, how do you find that? If you take a bit of snow from each snow pile, we'll have to do that in the next episode, guys. Because that looks interesting. And I'm not sure what that's about. Collect Stardust on at least one pond. Oh, you have to equip the polar lights. I see. So there's other missions here we might be able to do. Awesome. That's awesome. And since we have the cap, that's going to make it possible. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. So until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye.